So, seeing the fact that the Serie starts in less than 20 days, Roma's transfer market up to now is not convincing. And as a Roma fan who started a Roma channel, I can say that it hasn't convinced me. And comment down below what you think. So, this is a perfect timing for Roma to buy some players because we're getting closer to the Serie but still far apart from it. So that if Roma get to buy a player right now, he can have a few training sessions and then he can start the first match in this area, knowing all of the techniques um, and all of the schemes which Mourinho plays with and knowing all of his teammates as well. So before we get into this transfer market update, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are getting closer to 1000 subscribers. It's a dream of mine. So please, 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 if you like Mourinho and want an opportunity to follow Roma as an English language, please hit that subscribe button because it supports me so much. Also, please, please, please like this video. And let's get cracking with the transfer market updates. First of all, I've received many comments asking if I can update you on the Vinya situation. And Vinya is about to become a new Roma player. Now, he basically, the only thing which is missing is the, his signature on his contract because Palmeiras and Roma found an agreement. Vinya actually landed in Rome. He performed his quarantine. He actually trained once with the team, now he's waiting to sign his contract and he will become a Roma player. In fact, Roma actually leaked um, something on Twitter saying that um, he will wear the number 20 or something. So Roma actually leaked something which is another uh, symbol, another clue of Vigna becoming a new Roma player. Now, however, what Mourinho is in doubtful to do is either to loan him out to other players so he can play more or even keep him to Roma because Roma do have Calafiori but in my opinion Roma should keep him because Calafiori and you know Spinazzola is injured Calafiori is someone who always gets injured so if I were Mourinho I would keep him but Vigna is about to become a new Roma player Shaka on the other hand is ready to sign a new contract with Arsenal so Roma is forced to find a new player now, the second transfer market update comes under the defender position. Now, Roma do and do not need another centre back because Smalling and Mancini will start because they're the most experienced, they're the best duo. If one of them gets injured, Ibanez, Kumbula or Cristante can sub him in. However, these three players do not convince me in defence, not because they're not good, they're, but because they're young and they're unexperienced. So Roma, who they want is Omar Kole in defense. Um, he's someone who plays for Sampdoria and Sampdoria's president is a Roma supporter. So we'll get onto the, another AS Roma target, which is much more juicy. But when it comes to defenders, Roma is really interested in Omar Kole. Uh, he plays for Sampdoria, he knows the Serie A, so he won't be having problems in adapting to the Serie And moving on to the roles which we would expect Shaka in, but the fact that Shaka is now never going to become a Roma player, Mourinho is forced to orientate his mind on other players. And there are three players which he really, really wants to substitute Shaka. The first one is Cup Miners. However, Atalanta is very close on signing him. So it's very hard for Roma up to now. And the other two players are Thomas Delaney, Borussia Dortmund midfielder, who's very aggressive once again. He is not young, and in comparison to Shaka, that is a big factor. However, he's aggressive, and he plays for a top club like Borussia Dortmund, so he knows how to bond with other good players. He, not, he knows how to play well being actually a player which plays in a top club next to Vizzo, which is a very aggressive player. So I feel like next to Vizzo, he learned a lot and he could bring that those lessons which Vizzo told him to Roma. And that would be very, very good, in my opinion. However, there is another name which convinces me the most. Maybe because he's younger than Shaka, but because he's another aggressive player, he plays for the Bundesliga as well. He plays for Borussia Mönchengladbach. And I feel like this guy is going to adapt so well uh, next to Veritu, but especially in the Serie A. 
because Napoli and Juventus both want him. So the fact that Napoli and Juventus wanted this guy for the past three years made his mind ready to play in the Serie A. So I would orientate my mind onto Dennis Zakaria. I want him and I'm telling you why I want him because Roma has been wanting Dennis Zakaria as well as Napoli and Juventus for three years now. So if you want him from th for three years now, it means that Fonseca was interested in him and Mourinho is interested in him. So prepare a good bid, buy Dennis Zakaria and happy days. We can put him next to Veritu because the bond they can create in my opinion is absolutely amazing. Dennis Zakaria is someone who will run everywhere everywhere until the very final whistle of the referee. He is kind of tormented with injuries, but like every Roma player, I'm used to it. So, Denis Zakaria, Roma, Dan Fredkin and Ryan Fredkin, if you're watching this, prepare a 30 million bid to buy Denis Zakaria and buy him right now because I want Denis Zakaria as a new Roma player because he can bond well with Veritu and he could teach Diavara and Darboe so much because he's such a similar player to both of them. So, he is the first juicy name of this video. And then the second juicy name of this video is Mikkel Damsgaard. As I said before, he plays for Sampdoria and Ferrero, Sampdoria's chairman, actually said that he wants him at Roma because he is a Roma fan. So if Roma prepare a good offer, he will sell him with no doubts. Buy Mikkel Damsgaard. Buy him. Why are you waiting? He is a young player. He is a young bowler. He will improve so much. Did you see the Euros? He impressed me so much with the goal against England. He's absolutely amazing. Yes, I know he's a more attacking midfielder than a defensive midfielder and Mourinho obviously wanted Shaka, but by Zakaria, by Damsgaard and Roma's transfer market is done. Happy days. Because these two players can improve so much. Michael Damsgaard is a young player, a young duo, because he can improve this team's so much he can bag the goals and I think he needs a, a jump in his career he's been playing for Sampdoria for two years now jump he needs a jump in his career get to a top club like Roma and we are happy because if Roma buy Zakaria and Damsgaard I will be the happiest Roma fan ever because I don't need Messi I don't need Vinaldum. I don't need Sergio Ramos I don't need Hakimi I'm not like PSG. I want good players which don't cost much money, young players which can slowly and progressively improve this team. So Damsgaard and Zakaria, come to Roma right now. Please, Roma, presidentials, make us this present. And moving on to the attackers, Mourinho said in a press conference yesterday that Dzeko will remain at Roma. He has found faith back in Dzeko and Dzeko has found faith back in Mourinho. That is the synthesis of the bond between Jose Mourinho and Dzeko. Dzeko is staying, he'll be our striker next year as well for the next season. Let's hope he bags some goals with his faith being back with the new manager by Dennis Zachary and Michael Damsgaard and I will be the happiest Roma fan ever. Ladies and gentlemen, we're down with another transfer market update. Comment down below your impressions. I'm very curious to read and respond to all of your comments. Uh, if you're new here, you like Mourinho and you like Roma and want an opportunity to follow this club as an English language, all you need to do is subscribe to this channel because you are all legends. And all I need to say is don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in a bit. Simon out.